Hello my loves, welcome back to Bahati Life YouTube channel. I'm Jessica Alexandria, if we haven't met, thank you so much for tuning in. We're going to be talking about the total eclipse that's going to be happening 7.14 a.m. Eastern Standard Time on May 26, 2021. It feels so good to be able to be back sitting here vibing with you guys, pulling charts and cards. As, as you guys know, I've been on a little bit of a hiatus the last two weeks as I was settling into my new permanent home, which has been absolutely amazing. I have really kind of opened the doors, opened the doors for this eclipse as I am always encouraging of you guys to do the same thing as well. Eclipses are times of major, massive change, disruption, and eradication is a word that just came through. Switching things up totally in all of our lives. It's like being in a room or being in a space and then this hurricane comes through or this energy comes through and just kind of cleanses everything, power cleanses it immediately. And as I'm looking at these charts, you know, there's a lot of things that we need to talk about. There's a lot of changes and adjustments that are happening with these planets. A lot of things that have already have set themselves into motion, but when we have an eclipse like this, there is no turning back and it kind of acts like a trigger point that there is no, you know, any changes that are happening during that time or anything that pops off during that time, it will be life changing, truly. And I want to encourage you guys to go back in time, if you can, to check out all of the past total lunar eclipses in your life or maybe a handful of them and see how your life has changed. I don't want to just talk about just the Sagittarius eclipse. I want to kind of give you guys a hand, a helping hand when it comes to these eclipse types energies because typically what happens on the internet is that there ends up being a lot of fear mongering within the spirituality and astrology communities where they're like, holy shit, you know, the shit is going to hit the fan. And sometimes it does. But what we don't want to do is brace ourselves with impact for impact so hard that we end up becoming rigid and set in our ways. And then when things start crumbling around us, we start to feel a sense of loss of control or panic or whatever the case is. There's no need for that. Remember, these planets are not here to punish us. They are working on our in our best in our in our for a better interest always. And as long as your intention is pure, and as long as you're keeping your vibes high, you have nothing to worry about. It's best for you to learn how to go and flow with this energy, especially when we're working with Pisces energy in general. Now, the reason why I'm talking about Pisces energy is because we have Jupiter, who just recently moved into the sign of Pisces on the 13th, I believe, of, yeah, of May. Now, Jupiter is the natural ruler of Pisces and Jupiter connects to abundance, expansion, growth. It is connected to the idea and the energy of guru energies, um, theology, philosophy, and how we understand this world. It's not what we've learned throughout this life. It's what we were born into this life already knowing and understanding. And when it moves into the, its natural ruler, Pisces, this energy of things that we already know within us, this internal wisdom, this internal consultation, really, so to speak, because that's exactly what this eclipse is going to feel like, it all starts getting activated. It all ends up getting supercharged. What does this mean? Well, the, remember how I was saying that there are things that were already set into motion? This and I'm gonna be like a broken record, you guys know. I mean, take a shot for any time that I say, I'm a broken record, I'm a broken record on this YouTube channel. <laughs> I've really been saying like a broken record, take a shot, <laughs> about Saturn retrograde and Pluto. Well, Saturn and Pluto, they've been really breaking down tradition. They've been breaking down government, politics, business, branding, all of that. And when that happens, they're ushering in a new reality, a new world, a new order. And that's something that you guys know is not brand new to this channel. I've been talking about this years before it even happened, before it was happening, telling you guys to prep, pre uh, prepare, and plan for this. And now that we're in this, you guys, it's really important that you realize that there are aspects within yourself that are being challenged, that are being broken down. It's not only just happening in our world, my loves, it's happening in the world within you. And the thing is, is that this is the best beautiful thing that could ever happen in your life, honestly. And as crazy as eclipses can be and as crazy as eclipses can seem, they really, again, are there to swing you into a new stage and a new level in your life that you may not have been necessarily expecting. 
and if these planets have already been working to break down the foundations around you that were weak and built on sand and crumbling and then we have Jupiter moving through the sign of Pisces. This is going to push you into a space and a place within yourself where you have to rely on your faith. And you are going to be called into question to kind of disrobe yourself from ways of thinking and different belief systems and philosophies and perspectives that have been very limiting to you for so long. Now, I've been talking about this for a very long time on my YouTube channel, maybe like four years ago, I'm not even kidding, about, listen, the way that we look at the world and the way that we look at ourselves is going to change, it's going to shift. We're going to see a hyper focus on spirituality, on esoteric knowledge, on new age, on connecting within ourselves and not looking for others to give us an answer for, again, the things that it is that we need to answer within from the self, from the higher self, from the divine. And what ends up happening with that is that as these beliefs that are being challenged within you or as your career, how you've built your life is being challenged, how you've built your relationship is being challenged, how you built yourself, your diet, your habit, your lifestyles, the things and the people that you have around you, the communities that you're engaging with, those are things that are actively being broken down and crumbling to the ground around you. This has already been set into motion. And at the time of the eclipse, you're not only going to see that, but you're also going to see a new way of thinking about things, a new perspective. You're gonna become enlightened in so many different ways. That's where this revolution, that's where this rev revelation is coming to you. So this is not something to be afraid of. However, it can be life-changing and groundbreaking and shake you up a little bit. Now, let me know down in the comments, you guys, how does that resonate with you? How do you feel when I say that? And this is a non-judgment zone. You guys know I'm not here to judge. I'm not here to point fingers. I'm not here to place blame. We're all here just kind of journeying home together. But I do realize that there are some people who are vibing with this energy a little easy and more effortlessly than others. And I'm just curious to hear where you're at with this. Now, remember, what am I talking about? I'm talking about how you view what you want for you and how you view yourself, how you view your world, your belief systems. This is not just your spiritual systems, your spiritual ritual, your spiritual routines. It can be found anywhere. So what I want you guys to do is look at what Pisces rules within your chart. Jupiter is at one degree Pisces, so keep an eye out for that. And then also five degrees uh, Gemini and also five degrees where are we at here um, Sagittarius because that's the time that's where our our full moon eclipse is happening if you need to I always use astro.com that's my resource for pulling charts it is so accurate make sure that you put in your time your your time of birth your date of birth and your location of birth as specific as you can and that will pull up your actual natal chart hit the transits for the time of this eclipse which is again May 26 2021 at 7 14 a.m. Eastern Standard Time and see what's happening and seeing what what is occurring what you're gonna look for is for the moon to see where it's aspecting if what house it's sitting because that's where you're going to see the start of these major changes that are happening permanently in your life and this is again very very good it's very much a blessing now one thing that i want to talk to you guys about is the fact that jupiter now has moved into the sign of pisces and like i'm saying like i was saying you know this enters in and ushers in the guru this ushers in the energy of the ascended masters this ushers in the energy of philosophy, philosophical thinking, travel, mental expansion, spiritual expansion, and growth and education. So for so many of you guys, you are going to learn so much about yourself in such a small amount of time. It's going to feel like a treat. It's going to feel like dessert, how much you're able to learn. But if you are so caught in this web of Saturn, this is from the past. If you're so caught in the web of Saturn, Pluto, in Capricorn energy where you were rooted where your found where your foundation was initially created or how you want things to kind of stay and to be then you're 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 not going to feel this energy in a way that feels constructive and positive and enlightening it's going to feel like a threat and you'll be caught in the in this issue and this identity of survival mode and that's what we don't want so another thing that it is that I want to talk to you guys about is how 
idealistic Pisces energy can be, right? It can be so idealistic. This is the planet, this is the sign that rules our ability to envision and have hope for the future and to channel and um, manifest something so much greater than ourselves. And when the eclipse is happening in the sign of Sagittarius, this is where we are pulled and drawn into this vision and en enveloped in this vision even further, even deeper, even more profound, we are going to feel this. And I really want to encourage you guys to allow yourself to drift on this because when you allow yourself to disconnect from the tangible, from the routine, from the mundane, from the regular schmegula, everyday normal life experiences, this is when you really start to dive even deeper into the magical experiences. This is something that I've been saying for a long time. You have to do this for you. This is your vision. This is your life. This is your love. Pisces is very naturally loving and giving and selfless. But at the same time, as I'm saying this, you guys want to be very careful and mindful about boundaries and making sure that you are protected because that's the other thing too about Pisces is that it knows no boundaries. Now, or it can become victim to those who have no boundaries or those who wish to violate those boundaries. So I have to say that, especially now you guys with Saturn squaring off with Uranus, there is a lot of disruption, there's a lot of discord. We're going to see this in our government politics, businesses and branding, but we're also gonna see this in toxic masculinity. I'm just gonna say that. Toxic masculinity, not only in what you think it looks like, but also how it might look and feel within. So this might be our inability to kind of relax and be receptive and to heal ourselves and to nurture and nourish ourselves. So we end up violating ourselves with all that we're doing all the time or are just forcing our will and forcing, forcing an outcome. We don't want to do that anymore. Remember, with Jupiter moving into the sign of Pisces, and I keep talking about this because the eclipse is happening in the sign of Sagittarius, and Sagittarius rules Jupiter. Jupiter just moved into the sign of Pisces, and these planets are connected. This full moon eclipse is actually being squared by Jupiter itself. So all of it is here within the charts. And with um, the eclipse, the sun is sitting in the sign of Gemini. Gemini rules what we think and what we're saying and what we're communicating. So. These are things that we will see, these are things that we will feel, these are things that we want to experience, but we want to make sure that they are healing, that they are uplifting, that they are empowering. And you guys know I'm not about just painting this pretty picture and not giving you guys all of the truth. I like to keep it 100% real with you. If there's something that's challenging, then I will give you the tools and the resources in order to maneuver around it or with it so that it becomes a, an, an opportunity for strength for you, an opportunity for growth for you instead of something that just takes you down, right? So as I was saying, you guys, um, yeah, Jupiter and Pisces and this eclipse happening in the sign of Sagittarius, this is going to challenge you in the best way possible to connect further and explore and grow and deepen and develop your your higher self your relationship with the divine your relationship with this uh, this idealistic vision that maybe only you have and that vision is going to connect you and propel you to those who are like-minded who will feel like a light who will feel like love who will feel like compassion to you don't be discouraged when you start seeing the toxicity of people that you used to like, that you used to love, or that you used to engage with. Now, you're like almost re repulsed by it. Or there are people who are gonna be repulsed by you simply because you are trying, simply because you are learning, simply because you are growing, simply because you want more for yourself, simply because you're, you're prioritizing your spiritual growth or you're prioritizing something of a higher vibration it really does irritate their own demons you guys and i will say this too when it comes to spiritual people it's this is a time in our in in this generation and a time and throughout history when the spirituality community and spiritual practices is going to be exalted and encouraged but at the same time on the flip side because there's always two sides to the coin they're going to start getting progressively attacked so again this is why i'm saying boundaries are everything um this is again it always kind of comes from the most unexpected sources so it comes from 
um, family members, it can come from friends, it can come from a relationship, it can come from aspects within yourself that may not have um, totally accepted these new beliefs and are challenging your old way of thinking and your old way of believing you know, how the world is and what is real because uh, Jupiter here, Sagittarius, definitely rules the truth and Pisces is all about seeing the truth from an enlightened perspective, from the eyes of the divine. So that can really be testing and challenging for a lot of people. So, you know, there's, I just want to get all of that in there for you guys. Um, the Wheel of Fortune card is a card that it is I pulled up for us, which I love. Also, innovation and speculation. So with this, with these cards, you guys, and with this energy that's jumping out for the Sagittarius total eclipse, I want you guys to speculate all that can happen and speculate from a higher vibration, but don't speculate from lower, lower vibration, lower energies, anxiety, depression, what could go wrong, what are they thinking, what are they doing, what am I doing, none of that. There, this is a non-judgmental zone in your sacred space, right? This is a non-judgmental -judg zone in your sacred space. Your life is so sacred. Your life is so precious. Your life is so special. It's so unique. It is yours. Everything that you do is in reverence to a higher source, to a higher energy, to a higher calling, to a higher purpose, to a higher divine energy. Everything that you do is a ritual. So let it now that Jupiter is moving through the sign of Pisces, let that be a reflection of your work. Let that be a reflection of your calling, of you know how you're moving now. Now, remember how I said in the last video that, is that I uploaded that a lot of you guys are ushering in new energy, new mindsets, new you, and you're changing how you look, you're changing how you vibe. And with that, you're getting a lot of judgment, you're getting a lot of side eyes. And it can be hard, but it's okay because you have you at the end of the day, and if you ever need support or anything like that, of course, the Bahati Vibe Tribe is here for you. There's this big emphasis on this, the, on the support of the community, on the support of the tribe, on the support of your people. So surround yourself in that. And we're working with spiritual energies, you know, in the spiritual community, spirit can come in a lot of forms. It can come in things that are of a high vibration or lower vibration. So as long as you're aware, and this is not something that I've, that I've mentioned brand new on this, on the channel, not at all. All right, my loves. So let's go ahead and see what's happening uh, um, and then any additional messages for this eclipse, specifically for this total eclipse in the sign of Sagittarius. Spirit, what is it that you see for us? Wow, I'm seeing a lot of success. I'm seeing a lot of growth. I'm seeing a lot of leaps, big, big leaps, big, big hurdles getting just scaled in one shot, in one day, in one night. In one year wow what it is that you are building what is it that you're growing it's going to be your space it's going to be your place it's going to be yours i just i'm hearing this and i'm being called eight of fire it's coming in fast it's coming in quick some of you guys have had visions before in the past a long time ago years ago you guys had visions that you knew was going to manifest for you and it hasn't manifested yet it didn't manifest yet and spirit is calling you to know right now that it's still for you this vision is still for you and jupiter and pisces is going to reconnect you back to that and there's this big space of don't give up never give up and that's the other thing too jupiter and pisces and always understands and always knew that timing doesn't really exist it's just a construct and if something hasn't manifested yet if something hasn't materialized you still have time what is time anyways so that's something that's coming through for you guys i just am so in love with this message wow the high priestess is jumping out with mugwort this is the inner knowledge this is the third eye this is what you know to be true because you can feel it you can sense it and you don't need to confirm and, and gain clarity from other other people other human beings other books other what the internet is saying it has to come from the divine um ace of cups is here the queen of fire the queen of wands is here the eight of uh, eight of wands is here coming in fast hot and fast the knight of earth is saying in the, the knight of pentacles is already saying that this is already in motion this is already building if you build it they will come um two of air is here 
Queen of Airs is here. The Devil card is here. There are aspects within you that have been skeptical, that have, have been doubting, and that is totally getting null and voided out. That is completely getting diminished. That is completely getting destroyed right now. With the Queen of Swords here, she is really telling you and reminding you, especially also with the Queen of Wands, about your independence, about doing it for you and believing in yourself and your strength and what you can do, what you can accomplish, what you can receive, what can be done, what is happening, what has already happened. And even though, again, with the Devil card and the Two of Swords here, you don't want to be so locked up and rigid because you're going to block out these blessings. You're going to block it out. And that's the last thing. Energy wants to flow. Energy wants to flow. And definitely with the Eclipse and with Pisces energy and Sagittarius energy, it's fire and water. And it wants to come in. It wants to cleanse. It wants to re rebirth you anew, especially with Pluto retrograde at the time of this eclipse. It is really, really powerful. It has been your fear, eight of eight of um, air, eight of swords, that has been holding you back, that has been handicapping you, and that has always been a perspective. Jupiter rules perspective. It rules growth. It jumped out again. <laughs> so it wants to leap. It wants to bound. It wants to explore the unknown. It wants to, to get out and to do. Six of cups. There are aspects within your childhood that um, your childhood visions that you knew for yourself. Mommy, I want to be an artist. Or, Mommy, I want to be um, a doctor. I want to be a veterinarian. Or, you know, those visions from your childhood and those things that you saw for yourself way back in the day, you know, they manifest themselves. You know, they, they show, they may not totally come to fruition, but they show a lot of hints into where you're going. Children know. Children really, they know, they are so in tune. The younger they are, the more they, the closer they are to spirit, always. Um, the other thing too is uh, soulmates, twin flames, true love. Those things, the idea of true love, what that looks like for you. Your work, your purpose, how you work, what you can be doing, what you should be doing. It's not going to be about the money anymore. It's not going to be about how, the, what they offer you, how it, you, you've accepted it and that you've been stuck on survival mode. It's gonna be about purpose, destiny, dedication, determination, um, and conviction, okay? It's gonna be about integrity, all of that. It continues on, it carries on. So you guys keep your vibes and your mind and your energy high as much as you can. This eclipse is a very, very powerful one. I wanna invite you really quickly to go ahead and hit that thumbs up button because this means that my video gets to um, be cross paths with other people who will really benefit from it. And that's my goal for t the rest of 2021 is to continue to stabilize myself in the amazingness of what has already manifested and continue to create and to grow it. And I appreciate and love all of you guys' support and comments. And you know, I've also had more time lately to, to sit and check in with you guys even more so than I have been doing. And definitely within the Sacred Circle Tarot School. Um, you know, that has been a really awesome community and portal for all of us. And especially now that I'm in this new space, we have a whole education platform thing that's going to be, um, you know, getting initiated right now and going to be released. And I'm just so excited for it. So thank you guys so much for tuning in. Please let me know down in the comments how you're feeling with this eclipse, what your sun and your rising sign are your sun and your rising because that helps me to continue to do my research it's going to be a lifelong study i've already committed to that and have accepted it and i'm excited for it thank god for astrology it's been the only thing that's really challenged me next to running an astrology business <laughs> that's been an another challenge too especially as a virgo don't even get me started <laughs> but yeah you guys let me know down in the comments your sun and your rising and keep me posted how things manifest and how they um you know, how they reveal themselves to you and how you're kind of navigating through this. Okay. Um, I, until then, you know, I'll talk to you. I was just thinking, am I going to create Sagittarius eclipses, eclipse oils? Probably, probably, but we'll see what happens. Make sure that you're following me on Instagram because that's where I'll be putting out my notifications. I'm still in the process of completely setting up my altar. You guys know I'm a perfectionist, so it's gotta be perfect. At least in my eyes, it's gotta be right. All right, you guys, I'm sending you guys all of my love. Thank you so much for tuning in again, and I will see you in the next video. Bye.